My friends, it is Sunday, the 17th day of July, 2011. We're going to be live here on this Sunday transmission, as we are every Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. live. Thank you for joining us. We, of course, return weekdays, 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Central as well. That's 12 noon to 3 p.m. Eastern. I just returned from Los Angeles, and it uh, wasn't really a secret why I went out there, but I hadn't really told anybody that I was invited to Jesse Ventura's uh private 60th birthday that also coincides with his good friend Harry Dean Stanton, the legendary actor's 85th birthday. And uh, it was uh, quite an event. Got to meet a lot of great people and also get some inside baseball from Jesse Ventura on his federal court case against the TSA that is coming up uh, to decide if he has standing and if the lawsuit can go forward in federal court next Friday. And he said he would come on our show, even though he's not scheduled for media. Uh, the first few days of the week after that, and that if they do strike down his lawsuit, that, quote, Friday is going to be one hell of a uh, press conference that nobody is going to want to miss. He said I, it's, it's going to be, what was the exact word he used? Uh, he said it was going to be uh, pretty extreme. It was going to be something that uh, people were uh, going to be shocked by what he had to say. And he pretty much told me what he was going to say, and I said, well, can I put that on record? And he said, yeah, but I'm not doing any interviews right now at my 60th birthday party. Because I was like, well, that's good stuff. Let me pull the iPhone out and get one. He's like, no, Alex. Plus, the music's too loud. I got to see Ventura sing, Harry Dean Stanton, uh, doing jazz, rock and roll, country, uh, stuff that sounded like 100-year-old Spanish songs. Uh, that guy's quite the musician. I know he's played with uh, Bob Dylan on his tour and stuff, but... Uh, Really blown away by uh, getting to go to that and meet all those great people. It was also wild to pull up at the private party and, and to have TMZ out there, and they run up and know who I am and are asking me questions. It was pretty ridiculous. Uh, and to meet a lot of famous actors and to know that they were listeners of the show as well. I tell you, we have got to do uh, not, a, not a good job. We already do a good job, but we've got to do an even better job with the amount of people that are watching and listening to this show. Uh, it just was dumbfounding. Uh, Rob Dew went me to ride shotgun and uh, watch my back and just do some other uh, reports. When we went down to RT, to their L.A. office, and did a 16-minute piece with them. Uh, and we also went out to the Rand Corporation, filed some reports. We killed multiple birds with one stone. Uh, but Dew himself was pretty blown away by we go in restaurants, uh, hot dog places, walk down the street, uh, all the bouncers at the private club. It was one of those private clubs that doesn't even have a name. It's got like one of those doors you do.